I want to thank all of you for your thoughtfulness, not just as it relates to this bill, but as it's been spoken out by many, this has been an issue that we've been wrestling with for the last couple of years. Not on the surface, but deep in the details. And there's nothing in this bill that has not been the subject of conversation, official through a committee, hearings, and probing into the impacts of concepts, but also working groups, members dedicated and concerned enough to get together and say, what can we do? How can we start to get a better understanding of the larger picture and how it's impacting on the state of affairs as it relates to wildfires devastating our community and the victims that it leaves in its wake. And so this bill, with the governor's leadership, and we thank him for that, brought a lot of the concepts together. And as many of you pointed out, there's still a lot of other elements that need to be addressed. And many of those can probably be addressed before the end of this session. Many of you have legislation that's still moving that has the ability to continue the conversation and no one has ever said this bill is going to be the silver bullet or the fix all. But it does take us in dramatic leaps to where we can stabilize California. And we're talking about victims, rate payers, and the industry that keeps our lights on. I want to thank my joint authors, because my joint authors had bills that were dealing with the fund, talking about how we should look at creating some type of a early on offset. So they had bills in motion. The governor's team came together and took those concepts and gave some additional life to it. So we are moving in the right direction, but we do still have a long way to go. And no one has ever said that this was a perfect bill. But I want to also thank and recognize my colleagues who have experienced the devastation of wildfires and the impact on their communities. When the Thomas fire broke out, my wife and I, we got in the car and we drove down to Ventura. We saw a representative from Santa Barbara and Ms. Irwin who were dealing with constituents, who were dealing with fire leadership, trying to coordinate activities, all the while not able to breathe because of the density of the smoke that envelop their communities. Fire, smoke that impacts the entire state. We're all impacted. And so this makes us one California trying to find a solution that benefits all of California. And yes, we do come together and we have difficult decisions and yes, sometimes we can build consensus and yes, sometimes it's bipartisan and sometimes it's not. But on something like this, that this state is dealing with, that no other state in the union is dealing with. Only Australia has the conditions that we have to try to manage a catastrophe or the makings of one on a continuous basis. We're in new frontier. And we have to adapt, and we have to create ideas, and we have to come up with our best thinking and plans that will allow us to move forward. Not passing this bill, we don't move forward. Tomorrow, there will be more opportunities for us to tweak those areas that need to be tweaked, explore further the other areas that need to be explored. 30 seconds, Mr. Holden. I think we've all prayed for each other. We prayed for victims, people that we didn't even know, but they're Californians. Today, it's an opportunity to act and to do something that creates predictability going forward.